So if you want to know how to fake a wash and go, just stay tuned. So I'm starting with Cantu's Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. And then I'm following up with the star of the show, their Moisturizing Twist and Lock Gel. So I already did the back off camera and I'm just going to start by parting my hair down the middle. Once that's complete, I'm just going to clip away one half of my hair and then make that and then make that other section a subsection and I'm going to wet it with water and begin to really work that water in this is very important to this style then I'm going in with a lot of the leave-in working that in before I detangle Tang detangling is also a very important part of this if it's not detangled your look will not be defined so then I'm sectioning off a medium-sized piece to twist and then once I got that, I'm taking about a dime size amount of that twist and lock gel and I'm starting at the ends and I'm working that into my hair as well and finger detangling some more before I just begin to two strand twist. Now, once I get to the ends, I'm just going to add just a little bit more of that lock twist and lock gel to the ends before I just finish twisting it off and I'm just going to repeat this process all over my head now disclaimer this style did come out as a fail but that is only because this was not where I was going with this video I wanted to do something else but decided to do this instead so my suggestion is just to make your twist half the size of the ones I have here Yes, Celia is growing, sweetie. Okay, so this is what my hair is looking like when it's all complete. Again, make sure you make your twists half this size of mine. But I ended up keeping these twists in for a couple days, and they really did hold up very well. I was very impressed with this twist and lock gel. And as you can see, my hair is super moisturized, and they stayed shiny for the few days that I kept these twists in. But it is a couple of days later and I'm just going in with my olive oil, my extra virgin olive oil, and I'm coating my hands with it before I coat my twists with them. And you want to make sure there is still a good amount on your hands before you begin the takedown process. Now I'm separating my twists curl by curl where it naturally wants to separate. You don't want to just pull them apart because that will cause frizz. And as I'm running out of oil on my hands, I just recoat them before going back in and continuing the takedown process you want to do this nice and slow guys or you will cause frizz so here's what it's looking like before i begin to further separate it i just want to show you guys just how defined my hair is and how shiny it is from this twist and lock gel i was so impressed so here's a close-up of the takedown process i want to show you guys about how long it is taking me to do this so um yeah as you can see right about here my hair is naturally separating and i'm just following along with what my hair wants to do this way i avoid some frizz you will see at the end i did get some frizz but that is because i borrowed hair you don't want to do that when you are doing your twist guys it's very important it will cause further frizz but yeah this is what it is looking like so far I just went off camera and did the rest so that I can see what I'm doing and further separate the sections that I've already separated in half some more. And these are my final results, guys. I was super impressed by this twist and lock gel, guys. If I had made my twist smaller, it would have been more believable that this was a wash and go. Right here, you can see the frizz I was talking about from borrowing hair. But I even had people asking me if my hair naturally did that. Was that my natural curl pattern? In fact, this twist out does mimic my natural curl pattern it's just a little bit big so i learned my lesson and i know for next time just do some smaller twists for this look but that's all for this video guys i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one